Introduction to Enterprise Resource Planning We all know ERP systems are now ubiquitous in large businesses and the current move by vendors is to repackage them for small to medium enterprises SMEs. In this lesson we will study enterprise resource planning, evolution of ERP, benefits and difficulties of ERP and various modules of ERP. After going through this presentation you should be able to define ERP, analyze the various reasons of growth of ERP, describe the benefits and difficulties of ERP and explain the various modules of ERP. ERP is a set of integrated business applications or modules which carry out common business functions such as general ledger, accounting or order management. The ERP covers techniques and concepts employed for the integrated management of business as a whole from the viewpoint of the effective use of management resources to improve the efficiency of an enterprise. Previously ERP packages were used for manufacturing industries and covering the functions of planning and managing business. Nowadays ERP covers manufacturing industries as well as diverse type of industries. Expansion, implementation and use of ERP have been progressing on a global level. ERP provides considerable benefits to business organization. ERP has the centralized database shared by different business application function, transaction processing and reporting layers for the information system set up in an enterprise and appropriate interface with customers, suppliers, employees, managers and shareholders. ERP Enterprise Resource Planning is the evolution of Manufacturing Requirements Planning MRP2. From business perspective, ERP has expanded from coordination of manufacturing processes to the integration of enterprise-wide back-end processes. From technological aspect, ERP has evolved from legacy implementation to more flexible tiered client-server architecture. Table given in this slide summarizes the evolution of ERP from 1960s to 1990s. In the 50s and 60s, the data processing was very complex, slow and involved batch mode processing of transaction. At the end of 60s, accounting and payroll were invented which were not enough to satisfy growing business needs. The next stages of business application of computers were mainly towards acquiring better control on inventory management systems. To improve the performance and reducing inventory carrying costs, proper management of inventory was required. The computerized inventory management systems were introduced under the new concept of material requirement planning. Information system also moved fast towards the growth as there is development in computing technology. To fulfill the needs of growing business environment, the Manufacturing Resource Planning MRP2 was invented. Earlier, the MRP2 involved in the business activities like purchase orders, inventory, personal planning, distribution planning, etc. ERP is a software which is designed to model and automates all basic processes and functions of an enterprise from finance to shop floor with the integrating information across company and eliminating complex computer systems. There are some reasons for the explosive growth of ERP market and ERP vendors. Reduction of lead time, cycle time cut, on time shipment, increase of inventory, double business, eliminates limitations in legacy system, century dating, inflexibility to change, etc. are some tangible benefits of ERP which have participated in its rapid growth. The latest technologies like client-server architecture 
open system technology provides integration capabilities to entire enterprise system. It brings supplier and customers together by ensuring smoother flow of information at all levels and parts of the organization. ERP helps to make the decision at the right time and by the right person as entire organization shows the same information and views. This provides powerful support to the decision making. The ERP packages promise the seamless integration of all information flowing through an organization. They are becoming the fastest growing software in the world. The main task of the ERP system is to deliver products to the companies to manage their internal and external functions efficiently. The benefits of ERP are common set of data, help in integrating applications for decision making and planning, allow departments to talk to each other, easy to integrate by using process built into ERP software and a way to force BPR re-engineering. The difficulties of ERP are it is very difficult, extremely costly and time intensive. Typical over dollar 10 million and over a year to implement. Company may implement only certain modules of entire ERP system and you will need an outside consultant. ERP solution consists of functions like customer order process execution, customer service functions, financial application, manufacturing application, material application, human resource planning, information reporting application, etc. Various ERP vendors are there in the market providing different modular structures of their ERP solution. They are having specific grouping of business functionality like sales and marketing business functions including forecasting, sales order processing, shipping, dispatching and billing, analysis of sales, quality maintenance functions includes inward and outward quality assurance, statistical quality control, test and measuring instruments, test records, etc. Some common modules are service, sales and marketing, distribution and transportation, manufacturing, materials, finance and accounting, quality, plant maintenance and human resources etc. To implement an ERP system one has to find out a suitable package that is best for the organization. The evaluation and selection process is one of the most important phases of the ERP implementation. CRM customer relationship management and SCM supply chain management are two other categories of enterprise software that are widely implemented in corporations and non-profit organizations. The primary goal of ERP is to improve and streamline internal business processes. CRM attempts to enhance the relationship with customers and SCM aims to facilitate the collaboration between the organization its suppliers, the manufacturers, the distributors and the partners. The goal of ERP is to improve and streamline internal business processes which typically requires re-engineering of current business processes. The components of an ERP system are the common components of a management information system MIS. If you have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly ERP used to solve a number of problems that have plagued large organizations in the past. Right or wrong? Right. Enterprise resource planning is the evolution of MIS. Right or wrong? Wrong. Inventory management and control is the combination of information technology and business processes of maintaining the appropriate level of stock in a warehouse. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. ERP is a set of integrated business applications or modules which carry out common business functions such as general ledger, accounting or order management, 
the ERP covers techniques and concepts employed for the integrated management of business as a whole from the viewpoint of the effective use of management resources to improve the efficiency of an enterprise. ERP provides considerable benefits to business organization. ERP Enterprise Resource Planning is the evolution of Manufacturing Requirements Planning MRP2. ERP is a software which is designed to model and automate all basic processes and functions of an enterprise from finance to shop flow with the integrating information across company and eliminating complex computer systems. It brings supplier and customers together by ensuring smoother flow of information at all levels and parts of an organization. ERP helps to make the decision at the right time and by the right person as entire organization chose the same information and views. This provides powerful support to the decision making. The ERP packages promises the seamless integration of all information flowing through an organization. They are becoming the fastest growing software in the world. The main task of the ERP system is to deliver products to the companies to manage their internal and external functions efficiently. ERP solution consists of functions like customer order processing, execution, customer service functions, financial application, manufacturing application, material application, human resource planning, information reporting application, etc. To implement an ERP system, one has to find out a suitable package that is best for the organization. The evaluation and selection process is one of the most important phases of the ERP implementation. The primary goal of ERP is to improve and streamline internal business processes. CRM attempts to enhance the relationship with customers and SCM aims to facilitate the collaboration between the organization, its suppliers, the manufacturers, the distributors and the partners.